did kind of want to get into the following. And it still seems like it's a problem with this team. Uh, I think the Cavs game was probably the most eye-opening. And not only did they have 20-plus turnovers, but they had 20 fouls against the Cleveland Cavaliers. So I kind of want to ask you, should we be worried about the Pistons and their foul trouble this season? I, It's hard to say like, because it's so early, right? But I think it, it goes hand-in-hand hand with the turnovers that it's it, – these are like – you don't want to say careless mistakes, but these are the like the, the type of mistakes that you make when you are a young team. But that, at the same time, like, you know, there was a couple on Tobias yesterday where I was like, uh, you know, I mean, like, it's like, I feel like, you know, we, we, we could be doing a little bit better than that at this stage. Um, I just, I, 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 I want to say this is something they'll correct, especially with JB being um, such a defensive minded head coach um, that, eventually they'll they'll start to clean it up where they're you know getting things to maybe just a few fouls per game while still remaining because i know they really want to emphasize you know the physicality aspect of you know their defensive identity which is something like initially in preseason that stood out to me like immediately is like this is a lot more physical um than last year or even years before that but at the same time you got to be careful with how you use your physicality um i think more than the fouls it's I've seen so many three second defensive, uh, three second, like in the paint defensively, that, that it's just like that's something that should not be happening um, at all. And the fact that it was, like, I think there was two or three yesterday um, where it was three in the paint, you know, without defending. And I was just like, that's, that's, that's the type of thing that I, I feel I'm more concerned about um, because those are things that should just, not happen right like those are things that should not be happening on a frequently on a frequent basis and i think i can count at least two uh outside of like last night's game where it's 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 kind of been an issue and i think that's something that like absolutely needs to get cleaned up like as soon as possible because you're just giving them free points at that point um the fouling overall i feel won't necessarily improve until you start getting more defenders out there looking at an Asar Thompson right whenever he does return um it's just it's hard because like part of it is yes they 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 do get too handsy and yes they do commit some bad fouls but at the same time they don't have like the leverage of being a good team where they can get away with some things yeah um I, I feel like the Pistons maybe have a little bit of a tighter whistle than, you know, a, a team like a Boston perhaps, or a team like an Indiana, um, just because they, let's, I mean, let's face it, like a lot of the NBA when it comes to officiating is on like reputation. And when you start getting a reputation for fouling a lot, you're going to start getting looked, you know, a, a lot more closely, especially when you're a team that doesn't win a lot of games. Um, so there's been some foul calls. I think it's a little bit, you know, uh, yeah. interesting. uh, I don't, it's, I'll, I'll leave it at that, but yeah, I, I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think there has been some interesting foul calls, but regardless, they need to clean it up on, on defense. But more importantly, I really would like to see those three seconds, uh, stop. Yeah. A three million without guarding. I, I think it's just kind of like a mental error on their part. Um, I'll, I'll just say like overall, like officiating, like, uh, Ed Malloy given Kate Cunningham a tech first the Cavs game. First, the Cavs game when George Niang was – George Niang is just – I'm probably going on a rant. Like, George Niang is just a dirty player. Like, I'm just going to say it. Like, he tugged on Cage's jersey, didn't get called. Did the same thing to Ron Holland. And then Ron Holland wanted the basic – I think he pushed him out of the way. And then Malik Beasley stuck up for him and got a tackle. It's just like um, – officiating has just been really bad for the Pistons. But overall, I, I think they want to be handsy and physical. But to your point, they just have not earned – uh, the refs respect. I mean, this was a team that won 14 games uh, last year, 17 the year before. So I think once they start winning more games, you're going to kind of get a whistle that's maybe a, a little bit more lenient. But for now, I, I think they have to be smart. Um, I know Tobias last game, um, he was really trying to go at Jalen Brown. I don't know if he saw the clip of Jalen Brown talking about the Pistons, but he seemed like the little elbow to the face, being physical with them, like the entire night, like um, stuff like that, I think can't happen because you're, you're turning the ball over at the end of the day. 
Um, so you, you have to be smart the way you're defending. But I think overall, like you can't have games where you, against the Cavs this week where you had 22 fouls and 22 turnovers. You're never going to win a basketball game unless you're just hitting like three point shots like crazy. But I, I, I think it could be a problem. It could be something to monitor. But I think overall, they, they, they did a pretty good job this week. Yeah, I I think just it's the early foul trouble that that, that yeah. bothers me as well. Like it's it's I think I think foul trouble, especially on young teams, is inevitable. But it's the fact that it happens so early that kind of causes, and that's that's also a part of like a, looking at the rotations like critically. It's it's hard to say because like you know a guy like Ivy all of a sudden has three fouls in like the first or second quarter, and you're like, okay, well you know now we have to change things. That's you know when Marcus Sasser got run the first game. Um, it's a thing of like I I think if you end the game with four or five fouls, fine, right? But it, you don't want to start off that way because um, then yeah. that really forces the the rotations to change. Um, so I, I I think obviously they need to clean it up, and I think the the first half fouls are, are something that that especially like need to need to be cleaned up as soon as possible. Yeah, like the. I think the Cavs game still had like three. I think he had like three fouls in the first quarter, and then he picked up another two. He played like eleven minutes in action and had like five fouls. Which I thought the first two games, he was trying to get adjusted to play back up like center again. I thought last game he did a really good job of bringing in energy and protecting the rim and cleaning up misses uh, around the basket. But I think overall they will clean it up. It's only three games into the season, and they're learning a brand new system in JB Bickerstaff. So you kind of have to give them, I don't want to say a pass, but give them a good 15 to 25 games to just learn the lingo, learn the actions, learn the plays. And I'm sure they'll, you know, clean up on, on the fouls. 